installation for this particular site so that when I click on get short link I actually get a short link instead of this which is not really a short link and what I would ordinarily do if this were a single installation of WordPress is go to plugins and find Jetpack um, and use Jetpack to enable short links but and I know that you just saw something up at the top of the screen, but I'm going to talk about that later on. Um, under plugin, it says you do not appear to have any plugins available at this time. So I say, oh yes, of course. That's because this is WordPress multi-site. And so I have a domain name that I purchased called upstateenglish.org. And I installed WordPress multi-site. And when necessary, I create a separate WordPress installation for each one of my courses. And Jetpack is installed there in the network dashboard, and it's network activated. And you know that because right now it says the only link available is network deactivate. But how in the world do I get this to start talking to this? Um, here's where the tricky part comes in. If I hit refresh, either by hitting up there in the upper right hand corner, or just by doing control um, command R on the keyboard, you get that, and you have to click very quickly before it disappears. Learn more. And then again, okay, wait for it to load. I'm reading, I'm, wait, something just disappeared. So I click refresh. I have to click it before it disappears. Connect to WordPress.com, okay. So I have to have a WordPress.com account. Now I remember doing that before with other sites, but I've forgotten. Uh, it's the end of the day, uh, I'm a little tired. I'm kind of sick. Authorized Jetpack. I'm already signed into WordPress.com under my username George Williams. So now it's going from connecting to WordPress.com back to my admin dashboard for my section of English 102 that I'll be teaching next semester. And if I want to uh, enable short links, they're actually automatically enabled now. The only post that's currently in the system is the Hello World post, which is the default that comes with every installation of WordPress. And we'll take a look at that short link generator and see what it does now. Now, that's short. That's how you do it. Thus endeth the lesson.